and I have got another story time for you. Story time to do with an airplane ride that I had. Chaos ensues and people were screaming. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and I have got another story time for you. So last week I think I posted, no I did post um, a story time to do with an airplane ride that I had. Um, airplane ride with a flight I had, bloody hell, with an airplane ride. Am I like 90? Is that how 90 year olds talk? I have no idea, sorry. Um, yeah, so a flight I took years ago, so I'm going to talk about another one now. Okay, is it another flight? to Lagos and I told you like flights to Lagos if you have been in a flight to Lagos are very eventful they're very eventful when you're sitting at the back of the plane not so much so when you're sitting at the front of the plane but when you sit at the back trust me it all goes down either people are fighting or all sorts so now this was in the 90s and I was in school my brother and I were going back to um, Nigeria for the holidays I think Christmas or summer holidays I can't remember I think Abacha was the president and British Airways were doing a madness about something. So he said, okay, fine, don't fly to Nigeria anymore. Uh, they wanted something, I can't remember what it was, but basically he put his foot down and said, the government said that British Airways shouldn't fly. So we took, you had to start taking different flights and Virgin was not flying to Nigeria yet, right? So, um, and obviously after all of this, British Airways got their act together and started flying again and everything was fine as well, kind of. Anyway, so I think it was either Cameroon Airlines or Egypt Air or something. It was just one very interesting flight like this. And um, <coughs> we were flying back to Lagos, like I mentioned. And I remember we were sitting probably towards the back, maybe five, six rows in like before you get to the back of the plane. And I remember seeing a guy, so my brother just will sit down and fall asleep on a flight. So I remember seeing a guy walking up and down in a suit, tall, slim, and he had a full suit. I remember it was like a charcoal colored, no, not the charcoal. It was like a, like a beigey gray kind of suit and he had a blue tie on and he just kept walking up and down. And then I noticed as time progressed on the flight, his tie had gone. Then I noticed that his, shirt was gone no not his shirt his jacket was gone and i now suddenly saw this man and everyone else saw this man walking up and down in his boxes he had removed his clothes and was walking around in his boxes but that's not uh what was the most surprising thing the most surprising thing was when he started just rambling randomly and decided to walk over to the exit um door at the back of the plane the door at the back of the plane and decided to pull the exit um latch is that what we call it yes he decided to pull it and of course people saw him well first of all people saw the fact that this man had disrobed so it was almost like we're keeping an eye on him because what the hell is he doing and you know i think he'd been told a few times to sit down and put his clothes on or whatever so when he now decided to lunge and go for the exit latch chaos ensues and people were screaming i'm laughing now it wasn't funny exactly people were screaming and and they basically had to pin this guy down so the I mean, the flight wasn't full, but there were a couple of people in the last two rows and they were now told to move because the air, uh, the flight attendants had to um, restrain this man who clearly was either having some kind of mental breakdown or I don't know if what kind of issues he had, you know. So anyway, he now, they, they pin him down and I think they handcuff him or something or tie him i mean this was just so ghetto they like put him down and they handcuffed him or tied him to the ch to one of the chairs so everyone kind of had to move forward so i was just there looking thinking and you know he was like oh you people should leave me you people should leave me and they were like sir you need to calm down you need to calm down you cannot go and open the exit latch you cannot open the exit latch i don't know why i'm speaking in a british accent because they weren't british anyway they were like you cannot open the exit latch you cannot open the exit latch and he was like no leave me leave me leave me and then the um there was a couple of Nigerian guys at the back and they were like, these women are being too kind to this man. We'll tell him what's up. So they slapped him. Bass! Give him one blow. Bass! 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 
slapped him a few times. And they were like, what are you mad? Are you trying to kill all of us on this flight? Don't you know if you open the thing, we'll all die, blah, blah, blah. And the guy just started shouting, freedom, freedom. <laughs> I was like, oh God, is this guy trying to open the exit latch? Open the door on the plane mid-flight because he wants his freedom? I'm like, uncle, please, if you want your freedom, wait till we land, I beg. So basically, he spent the entire flight basically tied into the chair, so he had to sit down the entire flight. And randomly, as time would go on, he would just burst out, freedom, freedom. I was just like, what is that? What is this? And um, when we landed, we had to wait for the authorities to come on and take him off first. Um, and then everyone was allowed to get off the plane. But safe to say that um, everyone was just like what the hell and i think that was the last time i ever flew whatever airline that was i know it's not the airline that is not the airline's fault but i was just kind of like yeah this is this is not it um yeah so that's another one of my stories where i was mid-flight and someone basically tried to get us all killed um but we thank god for god we thank god that we were all right but i have to say on the flight my heart was racing like i was actually very very scared so i'm laughing about it now but um it it really wasn't funny um yeah so that happened when i was a teenager um and uh yeah that's it hope you guys are all good please make sure you like share subscribe uh tell me what you think if you want some more stories let me know and if there's anything else you want me to talk about let me know that as well and i will speak to you guys soon take care of yourselves god bless bye